Welcome back to Outdoors with Mike, folks. In today's video, we're gonna smoke some whitefish, uh, fillet it, and make uh, smoked fish. Here's our other one coming along. Kingling for our fire. My grandma used to do this. That's where I seen it from. When you're handling a knife, folks, always watch your hand. Yeah, well, we'll make some kingling and get our fire started and chop some wood. Okay, we'll chop some wood. Cut! <laughs> Let's get a bigger axe. All right, we're gonna start our fire. We got poplar wood for smoking uh, is best. And uh, our, we got our smokehouse. We'll smoke, make a fire and smoke, make a fire and smoke our whitefish. And look at this axe here. It's welded. Dustin made that. I guess he's he breaks too many axe handles. He got rope on here and that. Educate, very educational. You don't have to make an axe handle again. Yeah, we'll chop some wood, folks. Get some kingling. I want to make some kingling like this. I always chop wood like this. I have to be professional to chop wood so you don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I'll make a bunch of these and we'll put our cardboard in Kleenex and we'll make a fire. I'll continue on with chopping the wood. Okay folks, we okay folks, we got our uh, cardboard kindling. We'll set that to the side and we got a Kleenex. I always have Kleenex or your fire won't start. Yeah, we'll get it. I'm putting this on the side so we can, uh, we'll make a fire over here. Then I'll move it to the center when we got the fire. And we got our kindling here, our wood kindling. Yeah, we'll, we'll light it. Go Oilers, go. Throw that on there, get some kindling. Yeah, she's lighting very fast. We'll get this on there. We'll work it like a teepee, so it'll, it'll have air and it'll light. Okay folks, we're getting our fire started. Look at that. Right there. Yeah, it's hot already. We'll get all our killing in. All right, folks, we're getting it started. We're re uh, continue on with our um, fish now. Let's go look at the smokehouse. We'll hang this. We're gonna hang it like that. Yeah, not enough corner weight on there. That's what I was saying. We'll just cut this off here. Because I got some racks, we'll lay it on the rack. Like this, folks. Like that. And we'll lay it on the rack like this. Yeah, right there. Okay. We'll get that on there, folks. That's our dry fish. And we'll put it right here. Right there where we can smoke it. That's our that's our start of our white fish. We'll do the rest up and we'll hang it. Okay, folks, it's coming along. We got two uh, f uh, scaled. And uh, yeah, it, you see this one's good and this one, the skin came off a little bit. But it's still good. 
Um, nothing wrong with it, but it's supposed to be like that. The reason for that, for educational, another educational, um, when I thought it out, it was left on like that. So one was moist, the other side was moist, and one side got dry for like from the from the furnace heat in the house. So when you thaw out your fish, churn it, so it'll be good. And uh, that's why I put some water on it to help it get uh, wet a little bit. See, it's hard. It takes the whole skin off. It takes it, uh, it dry too much one side. So it comes off like that. It's a little harder to do, so it's supposed to look like this. I wet it, it's coming off good. The dry parts, it comes off like this, but the good side that was moist on the bottom comes off really good. See, look. Comes off fast. See? It's best to scale your fish when it's fresh. See that folks? A little dry up here, see? And over here, one side was moist, one side got dry. See? So we're continuing on with the uh, um, scaling. We got two done. And we got Teas doing one, and I'm doing one. We got one on the fire. We're continuing on. Yeah. Okay, folks, our, our white fish is scaled. See this? Nice. Yeah, or here's our, well, I'll show you one more time how to scale it. So you go over here, behind the bum hole, and you go down the poop hole. You go down like that, one down from the back of the scale, this way. Then you follow along that is hard, you feel it till it doesn't get hard there. Then behind the scale here, down like that, both sides, like that. And then you go like this, this way, like that. Then you go all the way to the tail, up to there. Then you scale it down, skin it down, all the way till you hit the bone. You can feel it rubbing. And then, then you go up. So there's a bone there. Yeah. Then down, you like got. And this way. Yeah, yeah it continue along here. Like that. And there's a... Yeah, you find this bone. Oh, that's a rib right there. Follow it down. Yep. Folks, all the way. Continue along. Oh. Here's the ribs, the end of the ribs. Let's get more down. Yeah. There. 
that's one side folks okay continue see how the bones are I went down till I hit this bone see it only goes up to here see from here to there I see so you go down you cut it along there it hits this bone it hits these here hits that you go then you go up along it here on this side of it once you hit that you only got these ribs here then you cut it down along down along the ribs all the way down this way see all the ribs there's the ribs all the way down here it's all the bones so you want to cut it down you hit this then you work it up this way you get these bones out this way the ones there so yeah you cut it down up then you follow along the rib cage all the way down okay we'll do the same on this side yeah it's best to do uh, cut both sides first before you i could have cut this first before i did the other side but we could still get her done so you go on this side yeah then we'll go over here we're gonna hit that bone there it is and we want to go up from it yeah. we'll hit that rib cage so there it is the rib cage Yep, yeah, right there, folks. That rib cage. Follow the rib cage down. Oh, remember, we went like this. I'll show you like this and then right there see folks right there's the white fish then we're gonna put the tail in there hold it in and that's how you'll hang it you'll hang it like that see but I'm good I got a I got a grill in a rack so I'm just gonna cut off the tails Right to the end. This one too. And uh, we'll uh, we'll flay it like that. I mean, we'll dry it like that. Not bad for the second of the year. My second white fish of the year. And then we'll cut lines in it like this. The elder showed me, told me to do it like that. And this way, this way, not bad. See, folks. There's our dry fish. Our squall smoke it. That's how you make smoke fish. And I got my rack. We'll put it on there. We'll put it on my rack and um oh um the the elder that I she taught me, she always had a bucket here of water. She'll put it in the bucket and wash it. And then she'll smoke it. So make sure you do that. Uh, we'll smoke it like that and always wash it Yeah Oh look at that folks it's gonna be so delicious. We'll get it washed up All right Let's get it on the rack. We'll wash it and get it on the rack. All right. There's our start of our Smoke fish. Here's the first one I done. See it's getting some smoke. Here's the second one I done We'll get it on there uh, I'll do the rest and get them on there 
All right. Okay, folks, we're washing the fish. Get it washed up. Show them the fish. Okay, folks, we got our white fish, smoked fish coming along. We're going to put a little bit of salt now. We got it washed up. You can use kosher salt too. Okay, there we go. There we go, folks. Then we'll go to the smoker and we'll get it we'll get it smoking. Going in the smoker, folks. There. Here's our other one coming along. Dry fish. Smoked fish. Right there. Here's some wood. Get some wood in there. Okay, folks. I uh, hope this video is educational and you enjoyed it. Hit, hit the thumbs button if you liked it. And please subscribe to Outdoors with Mike. Uh, trying to create education videos for you. Bring in value, hunting, fishing, boating, snaring, trapping, and cooking and fixing things. And we still got a lot of more work to do. A slow process, uh, bringing you education when I get time from busy work weeks. All right, we'll get the door on. Thank you.